incorporate very much into normal veterinary practice. Yes. So today's the theme of today's talk, and we've kind of labelled it why you don't need to believe in acupuncture. Um, and the idea of this is just to discuss um, some evidence behind acupuncture really, isn't it? And explain to people why they don't need to have a belief in it or there isn't some kind of spirituality behind what we do as vets. No, that's right. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine is where people tend to get most of their ideas about acupuncture from and it's a very ancient um, treatment, medicine, and in some cases, philosophy and spiritually based uh, medicine. Um, and that's where people tend to get muddled up about belief and getting um, very much looking at some of the, the traditional ideas, which you could think of as in terms of the historical view of medicine, where we used to talk about uh, miasma um, and bile and black bile as being causes of disease rather than the kind of results of disease. So if you like, some of the traditional Chinese medicine is a historical way of looking at medicine before we understand before we understood pathology and pathophysiology yeah. and what causes disease. So now we know very much about what causes lots of diseases. We start from that basis and then look at what acupuncture does in terms of its interaction with the body. And the more we learn about the neurophysiology of what happens with acupuncture and how, it, how the needles interact with the body, the more we understand how acupuncture 